Alright, welcome everyone. I have a little surprise for you today because I met somebody. Quite unexpected meeting, but more of it later. is here. I know it took a little bit longer than usual. It's here right now. Let's dive in the episode. So it usually starts with morning sunrise, getting up to the sunrise, drone shots and coffee breakfast. And I have a little surprise for you today because I met somebody. Quite unexpected meeting but more of it later. Let's dive into it and let's pass the word to my late self to explain what actually is going on to happen today. Day 5. I woke up for sunrise, had a little time lapse, flew the drone, took some pictures. Actually, it was pretty busy. And right now I think I could be, I should be able to get to the beach here. Parked at the nice place on this rocky beach here. Yeah, that's the one. I don't have particularly anything to tell since I haven't had coffee or anything else. Today's goal should be Valencia, possibly Barcelona. I have like 11 days left. So actually, I'm pretty f far behind, I think. I think. Well, it's time for breakfast and I'll be back to driving because to Barcelona from this place actually it's 500 kilometers which is like five hour drive right now it should be quite all right but you never know I have planned a lot of other stuff so <laughs> I think Maybe I should move on. There was a problem with parking because it's a big city. I wanted to see city center, especially with all the pools and everything else in it. So the problem number one was find a parking for such a big car because to be honest the streets are narrow and parking customs in Valencia are actually not that great because there is a small parking lot which I tipped there should be a place for at least a medium-sized van but it turns out there was no place and people are parking diagonally on the exit route so the last turn out of the parking slot was, let's say, really difficult and I thought really I will scratch somebody's car because <laughs> it was like centimeters away from catastrophe. Luckily for me, all was good, so I managed to find a parking place which is added on in a Park for Night application and I'm really grateful I found it. It's near school. I think there was just one patrol of police that told me I can't sleep there. So I told them I'm really not intending to. I just need to see the city and move on. 
city was great, don't get me wrong, I just, <laughs> I walked just a little bit because it's so big. It, that, it really doesn't matter where you go, definitely visit the place, which I will show you in the, in the B-roll. there if you want to swim you can't <laughs> it's forbidden but uh, the sheer big of the space is is really great so definitely recommend that and really walk through the city anywhere you go you will find amazing streets and definitely try acai try acai. No, doesn't matter where you go, try it. So after exploring the city, I needed to get my clothes washed, so I did some laundry. Yeah, the laundry afternoon was a little bit, not a little bit, it was not interesting, so there is actually no footage of me. But the funny thing was when I was coming back after one and a half hour, uh, because I had to separate like wool and cotton clothing because of the drying and the drying machine because if you stick merino wool inside drying machine it's destroyed so i was coming back on back with the and on back full of that should in theory be dry like in one two hours but since there was a late afternoon and i planned to be the street most of the time the the van looked like drying drying crack basically because there was clothes everywhere completely everywhere and i really wanted to get at least sun sunlight and some swimming because I need to dry too. So after the laundry, after the meal, I've picked a place which was outside uh, the Valencia. For the, because there was a sign, campers are forbidden to park there for the night. I parked basically somewhere else, it was like 20 meters further. And then I went for the beach. I swam, the sun was basically setting, so I grabbed my stuff. And I went uh, back to the car. But what happened was that I met a Czech couple which was uh, basically on vacation. They had like a camper with Czech license plate. So I just stopped by and because of the sign they were parking at, I asked them if there is like possibility to park next to them, if it's okay with them. And I asked like if there is police coming and this, they said that there is, this is like their uh, spot to park because we are there off season. So police is coming, but nobody is basically getting their nails on because of the sign. And But they just were happy to see me. We chat for a little bit. I've parked there next to them. I had a chat with a beer with the guy asking about Barcelona, some tips where to park because it's bigger than Valencia, obviously. And about their journey, because that was really fascinating to me. There were just two of them. How it works for them is that for winter, they are coming back to Czech Republic because they are from Jeseniki. That's like southern region of uh, Moravia. Because of the winter and because of the snow, they like to ski, so they are coming there. And since like half of February to beginning of the March, they prepare the van and hit the road and they are coming back to Spain, spending most of their, their times like in Mediterranean area or inland uh, for the mountains because they like to cycle. He likes to eat fish like all year long and before the winter they just pack their things and come back to the Czech Republic again for the snow. So it was really <laughs> nice for me. I asked him how he does that with, with the work because I was assuming he is working but he told me he does not and Thankfully, he's retired right now, so he's just enjoying his retirement with his wife in this way. 
So that was a pleasant experience. The next morning, I think we haven't talked. We just wished everybody else goodbye. I was flying just my drone in the evening. He was interested because his son, if I remember correctly, owns the company and he's selling them and he never got to try to fly it because his son is so scared that it will he will just fly this thing off or hit it somewhere, I have no idea. So I, I invited him to fly the drone, but he politely refused. So we had just like one beer and hour of talk, which we were just babbling around. And then we had a dinner and that was it for the day. So see you in the next episode. Hope you had a great time. Fly safe. I hope you enjoyed the episode. I will release the next one as soon as I can because, yeah, life happens. Okay.